is the love plot from the Kissing Booth trilogy. Every relationship goes through stages, especially ones that start on the stage of a kissing booth. It was just a kiss. Or was it? Let's break down Ellen Noah's relationship journey. Oh yeah, God forbid anyone actually thinks you're in a relationship. Noah and Elle's love is forbidden, thanks to her friendship rules with his brother Lee, mainly rule number nine. Which specifically states, relatives of your best friend are totally off limits. But that couldn't stop Elle from totally having a crush on Noah. Mostly. Despite their obvious chemistry, Elle and Noah can't be together, which makes them both do some stupid stuff. Like beating up dudes and dancing drunkenly on tables. Hmm, this isn't so bad. <laughs> Noah surprises Elle at the kissing booth with her first ever kiss, and it is steamy. But it's about to get even steamier. Because on the way home, Elle and Noah make out in a gazebo during a storm. But between rule number nine and Noah's history... Security! Oh my god! I thought I told you not to bring girls around here anymore. What?! This romance ends before it begins. <sighs> even after making a super helpful pro-con list, Elle just can't stop thinking about Noah. And he can't stop thinking about her, either. I'm crazy about you, Elle. Well. If we do this, nobody can know. Elle has her third ever kiss, and then loses her virginity. The club was full last night. <laughs> they begin dating in secret, but when Lee finds out and forces her to choose, Elle picks Lee over Noah. Even after Noah's romantic declaration at prom. I'm telling you that I love you. I'm sorry. I just... I can't keep hurting people that I care about because of you. Luckily, Elle realizes that she shouldn't have to choose between her best friend and her boyfriend, and makes things right with both Lee and Noah. saying I love you. The next few weeks before Noah left for school, we spent every spare minute together. Elle and Noah spend a great summer together before he goes away to Harvard. Noah's away at Harvard, and Elle can't help being insecure about their relationship. I'm trying to be mature, not come off like some clingy girlfriend. Especially when she learns about Noah's gorgeous new college friend, Chloe. When Elle visits Noah, they're both feeling more secure in the relationship until Elle finds Chloe's earring under Noah's bed. Okay, I know what you thought, I, but I'm not sleeping with Chloe, okay? Um, and Elle later I catches promise. Noah lying about Chloe. Her trust is broken. This is complicated by her blossoming feelings for her new friend slash dance partner, Marco. <laughs> Noah comes back home to surprise Elle at her dance competition. But she surprises him first by kissing Marco on stage. Ouch. After this bout of cheating and a very intense confrontation at Thanksgiving, it seems Elle and Noah are officially done. This has been lovely. Chloe, always a pleasure, but I think it's time for me to head out too. So. With a little encouragement from their friends, Elle and Noah meet at their spot. <laughs> <laughs> always been you. They make up and make out. By learning to communicate, they make long distance work until Noah is back home for the summer. Elle and Noah are still going strong when she graduates, but now she has to decide between going to UC Berkeley with Lee or going to Harvard with Noah. I had to pick a school and make one of my two favorite people very unhappy. What? <laughs> Stop, 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 stop. When she chooses Harvard, Noah is ecstatic and begins looking at Boston apartments for them. Who making dreams come true? true? Oh my. But her efforts to make it up to Lee start to damage her relationship with Noah. I feel like I'm leaving him with all alone. Me at asking me. you to come to Boston isn't some like evil plot to make you leave Lee behind. No. Soon it becomes clear to Noah that Elle is just trying to make everyone else happy, instead of figuring out what she really wants. I don't want to be one of the people who makes you put yourself last. What does that mean? It means they're breaking up. So that's 
it. The fact that we love each other means nothing. I do love you, but maybe sometimes loving each other just isn't enough. But with Noah out of the picture, Elle finally figures out what she wants. She wants to do video game design. Elle and Noah are all grown up, and it's been six years since they saw each other, but the chemistry is still there. We should go for a ride together. I mean, if you like that. I would like that. It sounds fun. And go for a ride they do. While we don't know exactly what their future holds, it seems like these two are finally on the same path. Well, road. Watch the Kissing Booth trilogy on Netflix now.